everybody, I want to make a quick video just to show you a little about graphing trig functions in Desmos. So something I think is kind of fun to do is try typing this way, f of x equals a sine, I'm going to do parentheses, I'm going to put bx, move that out of the way, and say plus c. Once I do that, Desmos recognizes a, b, and c and puts in sliders. Um, I'm going to make the c equal to zero. So you can see um, where it really starts. There we go. And this is a regular sine function. It'll look a little better if I change the step for the x to pi over 2. Notice I just type pi, it does pi. And then you can see these nice, like what's happening when. You can zoom in if you want. But then if I want to mess with the amplitude, you can see that I can just slide it. And it's showing me what it looks like and what happens when I change. Same thing with the B. B will change the period. So come in, go back out, and then C is going to move it vertically, right? Either up or down. Real fun comes when you just push play and you let it go. And then it's doing all three things at once. Fun. Um, if you wanted to see what that looked like for cosine, I can just go up here and type cosine instead. Same thing, let me take it back to the original position, which for A is the value of 1. For B, it is also the value of 1. And for C, the value would be 0. So this is my starting place. So again, then I can see what happens with the amplitude, I can see what happens with the period, and then I could stretch it or shrink it. Alright, so those are the basic ones, sine and cosine. It gets a little more complicated as we move on to tangent, cotangent, secant, cosecant. So let's just say I type in f of x, and let's just keep it easy for now and say tangent of x. So tangent of x, what's really interesting and is it now has asymptotes, and I think this is one of the really great things that Desmos can do for me, is it can put in asymptotes. And instead of just typing x equals pi over 2 and x equals 3 pi over 2, I'm going to type a set. So I'm going to say a is equal to. And I have to decide how many do I want, but let's say I want a bunch. So I'm going to hit this square bracket, and I'm going to start like at negative 7, and then I'm going to hit comma and hit negative 5. So I'm teaching it a pattern that I wanted to do on numbers, and I'm going to hit dot, dot, dot. So I hit an ellipsis, and let's say I hit 7. It immediately says, oh, you have a list of 8 elements. So down here, I'm going to say I want it to make those um, asymptotes for me. So I'm going to say x is equal to capital A, and then I'm going to do pi, and then divide by 2, and then just quickly change the setting to a dash, and that way it's going to put them in tan. So now here's cotangent of x, and then I really do need to move uh, my asymptotes now, so instead I just want to have a pi, I don't want a pi over 2, and then I really want to tell it that um, I'm not going to go down by 2's now, I'm going to go down by 1, so let's throw a negative 6 in there, and now it says 15 elements, so I just had to throw the 6 to teach it to go by 1 instead of by 2, and again, you can see this nice little graph of tangent, so I like that. Alright, so, um, other things, if you wanted to, just because I didn't do a secant, let's just say f of x, let's do is equal to a, but this time lowercase a, secant, and let's do bx. So again, I could throw a slider in there to show you what happens with amplitude, moves farther away, um, the b, the period, changes what it looks like width-wise, and then if you wanted to put a c, so let's do plus c, then I can also see a vertical transformation, and that's up here. So a big difference between what does amplitude do, because you see it moving together and farther apart, versus amplitude, which moves it at the same time, so that width between the pieces doesn't change. It looks like it's right static, it's staying the same as I move it up and down, but if I want them to get closer, then that's where I have to mess with the amplitude, and I see them really getting close together or really moving far apart. So lots of great things you can do to see how you're doing with um, trick functions if you let Desmos help you.